Hey everyone, this is the first video in a series of videos that's going to be explaining, in layman's terms, Boolean logic circuits with binary notation. And I promise that's going to be the only non layman speak I'll give you. So, Boolean just means on or off. It's often represented by true or false or one or zero, which consequently is what binary is. So, binary is the number system your computer uses. So it uses 1s and zeros instead of 0 to 9, it just uses 0 to 1. So Boolean logic circuits use true and false that are represented with zeros and 1s. Logic circuits are the components inside your computer that make decisions. Based on what you give them, if you give them a series of trues or falses, represented by 1s and zeros, they're going to give an output which can be used by your computer. Binary notation is a way to draw these and express these circuits using just your just binary and pictures of math. So just an example, today we're going to be doing the AND circuit. And what the AND circuit does is it takes two values, which can be either true or false, and depending on what you give it, it'll give an output. So just for some examples. I have a sample AND gate here, courtesy of the Logic Lab. And what we're going to do here, right now we have two switches that can be turned either on or off, and they're connected to an AND gate. So right now, both of these states are in a false or zero position. This is what the Boolean means. So what we take is we put both these off and the light switch, which is the output, is off, so it's also zero. Zero and zero equals zero. Now if we switch one of these switches into the on position, so a one or a true, we take one and zero equals zero. Makes sense. If we flip them around to make the other one one, we're still gonna get zero and one equals zero. But if we flip both of them on, one and one equals one. It's kind of confusing to just visualize in your head. So what we can do is switch over to a tab of Wikipedia. And here we have a true table. So 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1 equals 0. 1 and 0 equals 0. 1 and 1 equals 1. And for the visual people out there, here's Inkscape with a Venn diagram. So the only way that an AND gate, which is represented by this time sign, multiplication, will ever give a 1 is if both x and y are true, shown by this red portion. Alright, so if we go back to our lovely openoffice.org math, an AND gate can be represented by a series of inputs, so we're going to call our inputs A and B. And what can be described as the logic circuit itself is, the AND circuit is A times B. Let me just find my multiplication sign. So A times B is an AND gate. Alright, so that might be a little bit hard to understand given all the examples, it's kind of a little bit of too much information to throw. So let's try throwing in a real life example. If your teacher tells you to go pick up your pencils and pens, John goes over and he's going to pick up pencils and pens. mind my spelling. So, instead of picking up just the pencils or just the pens, he's going to pick up both. And will only work if you have both of them. Now by itself, and can't really do much for your computer. It's just and. And there's only one possibility where it'll give you a true value. So the real power of logic circuits is when you can combine them to make more complex decisions. And that'll lead us into our next video, which is the OR gate.